I am going to be making some bookmarks. Um, the last few times at uh, the market and the craft shows that we've been to, the last few ones, there's been a few different people that have asked me if we make or um, have any bookmarks. And I said, no, we don't have any, but that's a really good idea um, to make some. So. I got some molds. I got three different sizes of molds. It's like a uh, tall, medium, and small sizes of bookmarks. And the last craft show that we went to, I made a batch of them just to, you know, see how they would go over. I made 10 of them and all 10 of them sold. So I was like, oh my word. <laughs> all right, I should probably make some more. So I'm gonna make some more right now. I'm making another 10, that's how many molds came in my um, kit. This last batch of resin that I bought, it came with this really cool um, plastic knife thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so much better than what I have been using, which is the little popsicle sticks. So then I went to the Dollar General and I got some cups, bigger cups, because I was using like a plastic beaker that they that the resin comes in or comes with so I'm like you know what I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit bigger style cup since I got this knife it kind of just made me think of that and then so now when I pour my resin I can pour more at a time and I have this really nice white plastic knife that um, I'm using um, that helps me stir it a lot faster than a popsicle stick. I was doing, I was mixing all my resin like <clears throat> probably a container half the size and a popsicle stick and it was taking forever. So now I'm doing like twice as much and I got this big thing. So it's just been wonderful having, having these. <laughs> so, okay, I got all my stuff poured. I still have some in there. So I think I'm gonna grab like um, a couple other frames um, to um, use up my resin. So I had extra resin after I poured the bookmarks, so I just grabbed a few other ones um, and poured um, so I wouldn't waste my resin. I was thinking, I, I was um, wondering if I should fill the earring ones first, these little ones, because they're so tiny, so when they're that tiny, like look how tiny that is. The resin sets up really quick, a lot quicker. Oh shoot, I just got it all over. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This stuff is not fun to get on your hands. I shouldn't have done that. Ah. Okay. <laughs> At least it was just on my pinky and not my grabbing fingers. That's fine. Okay, so I think I'm gonna um, first do the ones that I had extra resin with and then I'll do the bookmarks because the resin will dry faster in the little ones. So I'm gonna quick do those. <laughs> okay, so I quick did this one. These four circle ones I'm gonna turn into bracelets. And then I quick did these I'm gonna put, or I'm gonna make into earrings. And then these were the smallest bookmark ones, so I quick did those because the resin was setting up. So now all I have to do is one, two, three, four, five, six more um, bookmarks. This is my uh, second time ever pouring bookmarks, so I'm still kind of learning um, how how these operate. Um, you have to, they're kind of thin, you know, because they have to be able to fit okay in a book. So, um, they're a little thin, so you can't grab too, you know, too big of flowers to go in it. Um, but you, but better, you know, but, I mean, you, I, I think, like, okay, I'm going to try it. So, there's a solo shot. I'm just going to lay it down and see once, once we uh, start poking it down if it's going to work or not. I don't know. I'm hoping it does because I, I just love the look of the, the full solo shot in there. So um, we'll see, I'm gonna try it. The ones that I did the um, time before, the only other time that I've done it, I didn't really do um, 
full heads. So I'm hoping this works. We'll see. Roll it all the way. something maybe I wanted to try so um so I'm gonna take like a cleome like just one stem of a cleome and kind of like I don't know um maybe lay it in there and see if it works what it looks like because I just tried it with a broom corn and I kind of liked it so I was like well maybe I can kind of keep going with that idea and see how it turns turns out you know maybe like less is more I'm not sure um so another thing I want to try is like just like a sunflower orange sunflower head see if that will lay down good in there um, so I'm trying to, to do a little bit different different things and just kind of laying them so you can actually see the whole flowers in it because this is such great space, um, big space to use. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see if it turns out. I am not quite sure yet. Lavenders are a little bit smaller than the um, salvia. The heads are, I don't know if you can tell, but. Um, so I think the lavender will lay down a little bit better for us than the salvia. Now I am just going to let them dry overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and um, peel them out of the mold and show you how I um, put them with a little uh, like burlap and in a little sleeve. So it's the next day. We just got our bookmarks all um, out of the mold. We let them dry overnight um, and then we, I took them out of the mold and they turned out pretty cool. Um, so what now what we're gonna do they are all kind of a little different so um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to tie a little burlap string on them like this I'll show you and then at the top here of where the um, top is I top I put on like a little extra little like um dried flower like you know little mold that I made so I just put one on the top too so I'm just gonna put that through here Let's see if I got my string lining enough I did cool and then I take it like this <laughs> and then I just kind of tie it in a knot like that so there's a little one at the top and then there's one like this. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then I got Cece, my daughter. She is going to help me sleeve them. So we got these cute little like bookmark holder sleeves. They look like this. And then what you do is you put the bookmark like through there. Like, let's see. <laughs> like that. So it kind of holds it. And then she's going to put a sticker on the front of it, which says Handmade with Love. So she is going to do the sleeve part. She's going to sleeve them and put the sticker on there for me. done this is kind of what they look like um, at the end um, after we put the sleeve and the sticker um, on them and we tied the little burlap and the little extra 
um, resin thingy at the top. So I think they turned out okay.